Okay, part two. I uh, forgot the, the lady with all the little gifts. She gave me this this uh, never used candle because it has a Pascal store uh, tag on it for 25 cents. And Pascal is another store that we lost. Thank you, Walmart, for killing all our local stores. Bunch of assholes. Anyway. Then I saw this record I got. I had to get for a dollar because the cover is amazing. <laughs> Square dances with calls, and it's in great shape. The sleeve and the record are in great shape. You know, I like the little liner notes. It's when you're partner with a dozy do. It's great fun and exhilarating exercise too. Great happy listening music too. So grab your partner and away we go. On Kent Records. And that was it for that one place. And I did a lot of places today. Then I went to another cell, I got there too late, I couldn't be at the same place, uh, at two places, different places at the same time. So apparently they, they had a lot of records, but less than the, the than the bazaar I went to, so I, I did the right thing. And I got these six LPs for five bucks, I got uh, John F. Kennedy here, Memorial Album, pretty cool. Hey, I didn't realize how many photos there were on this one. Then I got this record, I already had like at least two copies of Gino Secchio Outline, a masterpiece of disco music. And uh, I got it because this is the US pressing on Warner Brothers. Fortunately there's a damage on the corner there. But the record is like mint, looks like it's never been played. Uh, this I took for fun. Popular Koto Melodies of Japan. Just so unusual, I had to, I had to try it. <laughs> Another u unusual record. Las Indios Tabajara, South American Primitive Folk and Native Songs. A great colorful cover. Then I got this, Remembering Time with the Buffalo Bills, America's favorite, favorite barbershop quartet. <laughs> I had to get it. And then I got this Elvis I didn't have, not in terribly great shape, but uh, not bad. I didn't have this one, so that's good. Got these records for. Uh, Six for five, four or five bucks. Then I saw this Trivial Pursuit Family Guy Travel Edition, two bucks, six hundred questions. And I have at least two friends I can play, uh, local friends I, that, that love that show. They watch every episode. They, actually, they buy every box set of DVDs, so it will be a fun game to play to, together. And the same person had this uh, complete guide to our fav favorite family, The Simpsons, two dollars. Tons of questions and trivia. So uh, it was pretty cool. I had to get uh, it was pretty cheap. Then I moved to a street in Laval called Poulenc. P O U L E N C. I'll never forget that street. It said a collective uh, several addresses. They weren't not kidding. I think there was about twelve, at least twelve addresses on that short street doing yard sales. I mean garage sales. Well, yard sales too. And I bought something at at least eight of them. No, not at least exactly eight addresses. Let's start with the first one. Uh, the lady didn't have anything. Then I don't know what came over me, but I've asked her if she kept uh, paper bags, paper shopping bags, like to to reuse. She actually had some, and she came out with this Steinberg bag. I got I gave 25 cents for this. It's one of the last ones, of course, with the red logo. But yeah, I collect everything with Steinberg, so that's good. Then at uh, uh, the second address I went to on Poulenc, I got a bunch of records from from an extremely nice lady. She she came originally came from France. I don't know how many years she's been in Quebec, and uh, my God, I, she had terrific records. I think the best some of the best records of today are, the, I mean the day um, today meaning the records I found today are in this. Uh, pile of uh, how many records here that I mentioned? 17 LPs and and three small records. I made an offer for 20 bucks, and it, it's worth it at least. Oh my God, yes. Then I, I got this German pressing of Hello Mary Lou and Traveling Man by uh, Ricky Nelson. The original of Hanam I can't speak German. I wish I could. And although the and with the jukebox tag there. On London record, uh, although the paper is torn a little bit, the record it looks mint. It's wonderful. Oh, I gotta be careful not to spit this. 
Oh, we'll have to do that later. Si j'ai pogné Richard Anthony un EP, la leçon de twist, le vagabond ne t'en fait pas mon vieux yaya. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool, French record. Cliff Richards. Uh, there's no S. Cliff Richard and the Shadows. Another EP from France. Pretty cool record. It doesn't have any uh, big scratches on it. For the LPs, the best of Michael Jackson, Motown Records, 1975. Uh, yeah, yeah. France Gal, baby pop. Pas mal content parce que j'avais juste un exemplaire puis était un peu magané. Celui-là, il est popé par tout. Il y a une petite scratch profonde au début de la, du disque, malheureusement, mais sinon, il joue popé par tout. Je suis pas mal content. Celui Vartan, euh, on a vu ce disque-là semaine passée. Là, j'en ai acheté une autre copie qui n'est pas encore parfaite, qui griche encore un peu, mais moins. La, copie la, la, la pochette est un petit peu plus belle. Celui-là, il m'a gagné, mais je l'ai pris pareil. Michel Paul Nareff, euh, volume 2. Le disque n'est pas si pire, c'est juste que la pochette est déchirée, puis il euh, y a bien des affaires d'écrit dessus. Là. Mais euh, pas, mal, pas mal content d'avoir ça. Celui-là, je suis pas mal content parce que j'ai une copie massacrée de ça. Celui-là, il est pas mal propre. Hervé Villard avec Caprice c'est fini puis fait la rire dessus l'original un super bon état Her Bob over in the Tijuana Brass Warm Decided to try it because I've never seen this particular one François de Gelt qui a l'air bon il est en bon état je suis curieux d'entendre ça malheureusement son hit Le ciel, le soleil et la mer je ne l'ai pas du tout c'est celui-là qu'il me faut mais je l'ai préparé ça j'ai capoté Sylvie Vartan, balade pour un sourire. Ah, il n'y a pas une scratch dessus. Oui, oui, je l'ai, puis oui, je l'ai. Mais celui-là, je ne l'avais pas. Mais je, je pense que j'ai déjà 2 minutes et 35 de bonheur en 45 tours. En tout cas, je capote sur, sur ce disque-là. Dalida 65, à ce prix, il n'y a pas une scratch. J'ai jamais vu cette Christie de disque-là. C'est rare comme la marque de pape. Il euh, y a ding ding dessus, euh, le chat chat cha ce coin de terre que j'ai uh, This is the French version of This Land is Your Land I have this by Pierre Lalonde Je l'ai pas Pierre Lalonde mais là je l'ai jamais entendu par de l'idée Ah c'est super pour Comte François numéro 4 et j'avais le sourire fendu jusqu'aux oreilles En parfait état Everybody loves a clown in French Tout le monde rit d'un clown I got you babe in French Je t'aime trop toi I can't wait to listen to this This is amazing in great shape. Ça, j'ai capoté. Brigitte Bardot, mon premier disque de Brigitte Bardot que je trouve dans une vente de garage. Parce que les deux micro-sillons et le 45 tours de Brigitte Bardot que je possède déjà, c'est grâce à un, un, un grand ami, un collègue, un ex-collègue de travail. Mais celui-là, je l'ai trouvé tout seul. Il est super beau. Il est, il est vraiment pas magané. C'est une copie canadienne. Le disque, il n'y a pas de scratch dessus. This is a German pressing. Fortunately, uh, there's a, a, a small hairline scratch that crosses three songs and there's a tear in the cover but I still took it uh, because of course it's a, it's a great record it's still playable most for, for the most part and it's a German pressing and I have the Canadian pressing and the Canadian cover doesn't have this bar with the, the finger so it's pretty cool and I had a copy of Blue Hawaii I don't know why I bought this <laughs> I already have I know why because it's in, in great shape And this one re will probably replace the other copy I have. Elvis Fun in Acapulco. I haven't played it, but it looks pretty good compared to the uh, massacred copy I have. So, ici, c'est Sacha Distel, mais c'est une copie avec 14 chansons, une copie euh, d'Allemagne. Puis, Christy, les tunes que tu as, je les ai à peu près jamais. Je pense que je jamais vu ou entendu nulle part. Puis, il y a une chanson, a French version of Vessel Vessel, right here. Il euh, y a une chanson composée par. Euh, Gilbert Beco, puis Gilbert Beco l'a jamais en disqué. Ça s'appelle C'est pas vrai. J'ai vraiment hâte d'écouter cette chanson-là. And Sandy Shaw, me. Oh, yeah, there's one more. Ici, Franck Fernandel, le fils de Fernandel. Il y a Bonjour Marie. Le 45 tours il est très facile à trouver. J'en ai trois copies. La troisième copie, je l'avais achetée par ailleurs, mais le long jeu, il, il, il est pas facile à trouver. Fait que tout ça, le son stack cost me only. 20 bucks, but the Brigitte Bardot one alone is worth more than that. Then, uh, at the first address I visited, that, that I bought something at, on that street, I got for $4 this weird stack of records. Let's start with the, uh, the small records. I got a whole bunch of Spanish ones. The, the lady was not Spanish, but she said she gave uh, Spanish lessons to kids. So I got This Gérard Le Normand record here, Las Mañanas de Invierno, and Mi Camino. Les matins d'hiver puis mon chemin. 1972, belle pochette. 
Tony Escudero, Kung Fu Fighting, Valderas junto a él. <laughs> like I had to, to. I was curious to hear this version. I haven't played it yet. Santa Barbara, Ponte una cinta el pelo. I'd like to have that uh, John Lennon 45 here. Uh, this is not a record. Six points. This is a petit carton à colorier avec juste quatre pages. Il y a des schtroumpfs, il y a des schtroumpfs à la pochette, mais moi j'ai capoté parce que ça date de 1963. Imprimé en Belgique. Belgium 1963. A very short cardboard booklet to color. We have Joan et Pirlouit. I don't know who these guys are. Ici on a uh, Marsupilami. And this is from 1963, by the way. We have Spirou and Boulebil, early style. Well, a bit was kind of new in 1963, and lucky So I couldn't resist. And this is such an early. S I, I I forget Smurfs are that old. 1963. That's drawn by Pio. And here we have Disney uh, record readers, but in Spanish, in excellent condition. Great kind of great condi quality uh, cardboard sleeves, and you can see the other titles and. The records are not on um, 33 and one third records, but 45s, and they look like they've never been played. 101 Dalmatas, <laughs> El Patito Feo, Ugly <laughs> Duckling, Mary Poppins. Ça c'est bonne nuit les petits. Il est massacré, mais je l'ai plus parce qu'il a pas chuté vraiment haut. Mm. This, this was popular in France, uh, 1963. These are record readers in Spanish, and all, all of them are colored vinyl on this label called um, uh, Movie Play. And they are all red except for two that are yellow. Peter Pan. Cancion Infantil. I think this one is. Is it this one? No. This one is, is yellow. Los Tres Caballeros Chim Chim Chiri. Yellow. Then I got Les and Larry Elgart sound ideas. I really fell in love with the cover. Jean-Pierre Ferland Bobino, j'ai pas ce disque là. Malheureusement, il a l'air très usé, mais j'ai pris une chance de le préparer. Uh, Zizi Jean Mer. Reason I took this is because it's by Andre Pop and his orchestra, and uh, it was in great shape. I decided to take a chance. This is a stupid purchase, but I have an explanation for this. It was an impulse purchase. When I was a kid, uh, I loved the Smurfs, and I fell in love with uh, the feature movie film of 1975, uh, La Flute à Six And I, f I bought the soundtrack, and I fell in love with the soundtrack. Then I saw this at the store at full price, and I had I didn't have much money. But they also had a, f a small record. And I bought the only the 45, and I hated it. It had nothing. It, it's not a. It's not really the the real Smurfs at all. And even the lyrics to the songs don't make sense. But this this is a, an album I almost bought when I was a kid. I was curious about it, so I I got it. 1978. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I decided to take it. Then at another address, I got buttons. We have these five buttons. We have UP here, which I should stop buying. I have enough copies uh, as is for both me and my friend uh, who loves UP. So I put this here Pop Citroën, an émission pour enfants à Radio Canada. Il y avait aussi Télé Jeans, mais je l'ai laissé là, ne pas. Ça c'est le fun. Je, bonjour les cousins, Jacques Cartier, 450 ans, avec Gaston la, la gaffe dessus. I toured Jasper, uh, Albert, Alberta, Canada. With a nice cute bear on it, flat bear, and Bertie Beaver says, "Protect an Alberta's forest." Nice fat beaver. <laughs> Got these five buttons, and uh, let's continue on another video.